Now, I don't think I can get in that little loop without the bombs or the jump. At some point, I'm pretty sure you get a morph ball jump, don't you? I don't just have the ability to do that now, do I? No. Don't forget to scan the next map. Oh. I might have done that in uh, the first one. I can't remember. But yes, I should scan a map at some point. You're right. Not going for 100%. <laughs> Again, I have probably 100% of this game twice in my life. But scanning shit's fun. Oh, right. Sort of forgot about the uh, little, like, 2D, 2D morph ball sections that it gives you. Semi 2D, I guess. Ooh, Magmore Caverns. Yeah. I don't... I didn't recall that you go to the Magmore Cavern so soon. It's it's honestly like kind of incredible how much of this game is still just in my memory. Where like some stuff is, for example, or Certain map layouts, certain bosses. I remember basically all the bosses. I guess that part's not so surprising. Chozo lore. Future is a vague thing. Ever changing and always in doubt. Even if we Chozo could gain the ability to foresee the future. It would be a hollow gift for we could never hope to control what has yet to occur. Fountain is an example of this. The day may come when its water dries up. And there is nothing we could do to stop such a tragedy. But... We do know this. Unlike the uncertain flow of water, the power of our will is strong and enduring. The will of the Chozo will never run dry. Well then, Chozo. This will expand. How does I get in there? I do not recall. First of three locking mechanisms. Thank you. Alas, I do not recall how to unlock said locking mechanisms. They're quite round, aren't they? I think I probably just need more fallen. Or morph bombing, rather. Oh. Well. I would say that was well worth the detour. God, what a fucking cool song. You know, it's just another reason why this game is one of my favorites. It's not, it's not any one thing. It's the whole package, you know? Fucking incredible music.
just an absolutely excellent transition for what 2D Metroid was into the 3D space. Am I actually going to be able to go through this area? Magmore Cavern's going to do like eat death of the universe shit to me. I'm not taking damage yet. Excuse me, screechy bats. I kind of forgot about you. Shriek bat. That's what they're called. Shriek bat. Body temperature peaks at 121 C. Jesus. That is... Really fucking hot. It's a save station. Hooray. I feel like I recall this game being pretty good about giving you save stations, basically near every elevator more or less excuse me shriek bats I need to scan this other guy Risby Well, scavenger who, scavenger who can be boomed. Boom. Oh, yeah. Hmm. I feel like I'm not supposed to be here yet. I need the various suit. Where would I get the various suit? I like, I remember, I remember that it comes from a boss fight. Truly no recollection of where that boss fight is. Hmm. Take a peek at our map when we get back up here. Your first impressions here? There's an elevator to my left going up I didn't take. Oh no, because it's not an elevator. I don't have that yet. Can't do that. Very Metroid. I mean, it is a Metroid game. Good looking, nice sound. Maps are great. Gameplay looks fun. I... Obviously, I'm a little biased, but I fucking love it. <laughs> this right here is where the boss fight is. So in order for me to get there, I need to go probably here. Back to the main plaza and through this and be my bet. Oh, not that way. Rose Red! 54 months. Oh my god, has it seriously been that long? Thank you so much for all the support. I do very much appreciate it. 
In fact, that reminds me. I don't think I gave away a sub last month. But it's the first Monday of this month. I should give away a sub. Before I forget another month. Let's see who the lucky person is today. Also, now we get to hear this sick music again. Hey, congratulations, Bogue Time. Not that they're here right now, but congratulations to them. Oh. Alright, main plaza. Up there. Now, I don't know that I can make this jump. But maybe. This might be doable. Oh, yeah. Very bad at recalling how far I can jump. But it's a bit. You you have a kind of floaty jump. Oh, little guys, don't bother me. Dang it. Dang it, little guys. Ooh. Honestly, these little light dudes... Just because the lighting engine and everything is so much better now, I think look way cooler. They always did the little like lighting up thing, but it was definitely a lot less cool looking. You think I did last month? Hmm. Maybe. Oh, and choked by overgrowth. Ooh. Chozo lore! Surges of negative energy brought by the meteor. Far. Ah, here we go. Remember I mentioned? Uh, environmental catastrophe. Surges of negative energy brought by the meteor far exceed our expectation. We Chozo have yet to find a way to rid ourselves of the great poison. All we can do now is seal it away and wait for the day when a power to purify the poison appears. However, it is already impossible to collect all the pieces of the Great Poison as it has already spread, seeping into the planet and hardening. Kind of fucked. It is frankly kind of fucked. And now here we are. God knows how many hundreds or thousands or whatever years later. Probably hundreds. I feel like the other one might be a save point, actually. This feels like where a save point would be, you know? One of these two rooms. Oh, no. Shriekers! Hey, map. I think I'm going the right way anyway. Um, what was I just talking about? Right, hundreds of years later. Uh, and a bunch of space pirates come here. Trying to figure out what they might be able to do with this poisonous bullshit. Using it to mutate parasites and stuff. Rock dwelling tentacle. Very weird that it literally has a fucking eyeball on it. Oh god. Oh. 
I'm, I'm goofed. Wasn't expecting that other vine to pop out. Freaked me out. You're a jerk. Runic symbol's been activated. Well, sure as heck didn't remember that or anything about this room. But I'm doing the right thing, apparently. Fine, get out of here. Ah, jerks! Feel like I have to go this way first. Hundreds of years later, yes. Hundreds seems right. Oh, this is where I get the uh, charge shot, isn't it? Shrooms, please. I've always had like a kind of wild brain for great poison comes from Talon's core. Yeah. That which fouls the water seeks the sun. Hmm. I've always had a really good brain for remembering like pathing and stuff for stuff when rooms in general. It's honestly one of the things that makes uh makes me not want to play some replay some games, I should say, very much. People sometimes ask me about uh replaying games. Like I don't replay a lot of games. It smells like Troid, it is Troid. What's up, Azuma? I tend not to replay too many games, but at least a small part of that is because, like, ow, good vines. Because my, my silly, very good at remembering pathing and stuff brain means that dropping in to see my Troid skills. Oh, thank you. I'm playing it with the, uh, the classic controls, like a weirdo. To see if it really doesn't hold up. <laughs> it's not quite tank controls, but yeah. Ruth awaits me in a sacred hall. I know the charge shot is somewhere around here. Maybe it's up here. Oh, there's a save point. That's good. <laughs> Only Nintendo cared about Star Fox. Yeah. Star Fox might be the only... Nintendo franchise that they care about less than Metroid. Then again, I feel like they still do more with Star Fox more frequently. Ow, ow, shrieky bats. Like, Star Fox gets kind of tossed at other stuff sometimes, you know? Like that, um... That weird Ubisoft game... Where they were using, um... Like, the near... Near field thing, so you could, like, put the little toys on the controller. No, not Kid Icarus. It was 
it was some Ubisoft game where they, you like make spaceships and you can put little toys on the controller to be like, I have this ship. And I don't remember like anything else about it other than Star Fox was put into it. Oh, Kid Icarus has a franchise they don't care about? Yeah. Kid Icarus is definitely up there too, isn't it? Oh, that's just a bunch of poison water. We're not going that way. Okay. Wrong Bhutan. Alright, this is obviously the direction. Surprised how long those health things last. Oh yeah! The, <laughs> the frog thing! How silly. Starlink Battle... Yes, that game. Like, I can't really complain that much, I suppose, because... Fact is... Metroid got Metroid Dread... What? Last year? Two years ago? Two years ago. Alright, I don't remember what you are. Uh huh. Eternal power is damaged. That looked like a new bug, actually. Or not what I'm looking for. Ow. Barbed war wasp. Oh. Ah, right. I'm making it get angry above it, and then it shoots fire up to get rid of the nest. What a silly boss fight. Oh. Ooh, it has been too long. I did this fight so bad. <laughs> oh, not over yet? Okay, I can still fuck up one more time. Side's going up. That side. Oh, this way. Run away for a moment. Ow. Alright, mistakes were made. Fair. I don't think I need to morph ball to get under. I think that's my mistake. And I jumped into it. Yes, I do not need to morph ball to get under it. Give me that top. There we go. Jeezy crazy. I did not fight that thing good. Oh, morph ball bomb. I thought I was getting the charge shot. Huh. Interesting. More ball bomb. I would love to, thank you. Boop. All right. Anything else in this room? Yes. 
Oh, wrong button. Don't mind if I do. 